We are now going to do exercise number seven using a single image to explore thresholding options. I've already run the cleanup macro. So um, all, of the, all of the windows from the previous exercise are gone. And I'm going to open a new file to use that one to explore for thresholding, which is this wild type minus DNA three channel two Z9. So there are multiple ways of exploring appropriate thresholding methods and appropriate thresholds in Fiji. I'm going to show you two of them. The first is to open image, adjust, threshold. Uh, this opens this little window here. Uh, you want to make sure that dark background is checked and nothing else is checked when you do these exercises. So let me explain how this works. Uh, when it opens, uh, it will uh, use whichever method is set here. This is an automatic global thresholding method defined based on the image and the histogram what the appropriate threshold value is. And all the pixels above that value, it will show you in red. If you change this red to black and white, it will show the thresholded pixels. So the pixels that are above the intensity of 34 in black and white. If you do it in over under, it will show you pixels below 34 as blue and the ones above them in whichever display uh, lookup table you had uh, selected for your image. So uh, I'm going to leave it on the red. These are automatic, this is an automatic thresholding method and you can check other ones. So other ones that are popular, for example, are Otsu. You can see that one gives a very similar result, 36. Another one is triangle that gives 18. Um, and so on and so forth. If you're interested in using these automatic methods and you want uh, further background on what exactly they are doing, you can find that in two places. First, uh, this is a fantastic uh, resource. It's uh, Pete Bankhead's Introduction to Bioimage Analysis, where he has a section on thresholding. And in that section, he explains what thresholding is, but he also goes into quite a bit of detail of um, different thresholding methods uh, and when they uh, tend to work or not work. So he discusses Otsu, Minimum, Triangle, etc. Uh, a more uh, comprehensive resource, uh, but maybe um, not as detailed for the specific thresholds that uh, the Bankhead book uh, looks at is um, the ImageJ instructions for the auto threshold uh, uh, tool where there is a description here of all the papers that are um, uh, that explain the different thresholding methods in Fiji. Okay, so those are two resources where you can go and and look to read up more on thresholding. Um, so one other uh, comment is that you can see that the thresholding is the pixels that are greater than this value. If you wanted to do it manually and lower than this value. So you typically leave that at the very top, but you can see you can filter out pixels that are too bright and brighter than this. So you typically leave this at the top. And again, you can use various thresholding methods that will find it automatically, or you can set this manually. Now, obviously setting it manually is going to be subject subjective and it's not gonna scale well, but you might not have a choice. And so um, this just allows you to explore uh, what images would look like with different thresholds. Uh, if you want to reset and go back um, to um, no, no thresholds on the image, you can do that and then you can select whichever uh, option you like. Again, you can set up the manual and if you say set, um, you can actually type a value here. So you could say, well, what if the threshold were 150? So that's what it looks like. You can accomplish the same thing, obviously, by dragging this. And finally, if you say apply, it will change the image from the from the actual image with just an overlay to an image where the pixels are either zero in the ones that were below the threshold or 255 in the ones that were above threshold. Um, so that is one way of exploring thresholding in Fiji. Let me show you the other way. Because I... I um, I've now changed this image. I'm gonna close this and reopen it to show you a different method of exploring thresholding. To do that, I'm gonna close the thresholding window and I'm going to open image, adjust, auto threshold. So this is a convenient tool if you're not sure which thresholding method might make sense for you. 
because you can try all the methods, uh, the automatic methods that Fiji, Fiji has included. You want to make sure you have white objects on black background clicked if you're using uh, fluorescence data as I am here. And it's nice to show the threshold values in the log window to see numerically how they vary. If you say OK, what this will do is create this montage image of the results of the thresholding with the different methods, which are noted here. It says if you zoom in, you can see it says default, Huang, Huang2, maximum entropy, et cetera, et cetera. So you can see the results of the different methods. And then you can see the um, uh, the intensities that were calculated for each of those. And so this is a nice way of exploring. So you may have the idea that, you know, something like this, um, it kind of corresponds to your intuition, whereas something like this, maybe the threshold is too low. Here it's too high. So this can kind of help you sort out and get, gain some intuition for what method might work well on your data.